When you hear the phrase PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, you might think it only applies to soldiers returning home who are suffering from the trauma of war. However, while soldiers are certainly more prone to developing PTSD, this condition actually applies to many other situations, ranging from a traumatic car crash, to a toxic relationship, or a serious health problem. In other words, PTSD is a disorder where someone has trouble recovering after experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event, and so can apply to more of us than we might think. Today on How to Charisma, we're going to look at some of the common signs of PTSD to help you determine whether you or a loved one may be suffering from this disorder. We'll be looking at some of the classic examples of PTSD through movies depicting soldiers suffering from the trauma of war, as well as ordinary people suffering from PTSD. Let's take a look at the first example. Number 1. Avoidance Those with PTSD often report feeling like they're always on edge and feel easily triggered especially by a reference to a past trauma. This is referred to as hyperarousal, or always being on alert. For instance, if you experienced a bad car accident, you might be afraid to drive, and so you walk places instead, or maybe just stay at home. Or if you've experienced toxic relationships in the past, you might avoid dating altogether. Tony Stark from the movie Iron Man suffers from PTSD, and experiences avoidance as one of his symptoms. Are they coming back? The aliens? Maybe. Can you stop? Remember what I told you that I have an anxiety issue? Do you need do you need a plastic bag to breathe into? <sighs> do, do, do you have medication? Nope. Do you need to be on it? Probably. Do you have PTSD? I don't think so. You... In this scene, Tony Stark is clearly on edge and has a panic attack because of a slight reference to the battle with the aliens, which is a traumatic event in his past. This gives him a huge amount of anxiety and makes it hard for him to do something as simple as carry out a conversation with a young boy. Number 2. Intrusive Flashbacks or Dreams Another common sign that someone has PTSD is that they have regular and intrusive flashbacks or dreams. The word intrusive is key here. This means that these flashbacks or dreams intrude on the person, which often disrupts their ability to function on a daily basis. Let's go back to our example of Tony Stark to see an example of this. As you can see, Tony Stark's PTSD manifests in the form of intrusive dreams. He has regular nightmares of the traumatic fight he was a part of, which impacts his sleep and causes cyclical stress in his life. If you're experiencing recurring nightmares of a past trauma or find yourself having intrusive memories of that trauma during the day, it's possible that this is linked to PTSD. Number 3. Trouble Concentrating Like we mentioned, oftentimes someone with PTSD will shut down as a defense mechanism or way of coping. This can lead to an inability to concentrate because your mind isn't operating at its peak. In the movie American Sniper, Bradley Cooper's character has PTSD from his experience as a sniper in the Iraq War. When he returns home, he struggles with many symptoms of PTSD, including the inability to concentrate. Let's take a look. Kenna's gonna lose that tooth and I'm so worried she's gonna swallow it like in her sleep or something. And she said she let you pull it, but only you. Would you do that? In this clip, Bradley Cooper's character struggles to focus on something as simple as carrying on a conversation with his wife. This affects his ability to sustain his relationships and operate in daily life. PTSD in this way can include things such as trouble concentrating on simple tasks like carrying on a conversation with a loved one, paying attention during a work meeting, or completing a simple chore. Let's look at the next sign. Number 4. Outbursts of Anger if you have PTSD, you may have trouble regulating your emotions, particularly when it comes to anger. You might have trouble holding your anger in, and find that it often spills over. This anger might be due to something others would consider not a big deal, like getting overly upset if you spilled milk or your phone died. Let's take a look at an example from the movie Room. This movie shows Brie Larson's character going through PTSD after she was kidnapped and spent years raising her son in the home of her kidnapper. Because of her PTSD, she has difficulty controlling her emotions and often lashes out over things others wouldn't consider a big deal. Let's take a look. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm supposed to be happy. I just need to rest, okay? No, I don't! 
don't. I don't need to rest. That's what the doctor that is not what the doctor said. You don't know what he said because it was a confidential conversation and you don't know what he said. All right, all right, all right. In this scene, Brie Larson's character has an outburst of anger when her mother suggests that she needs to get some rest. Her reaction may seem irrational, but her sudden anger and inability to control it is a common sign of PTSD. If you're experiencing what others might consider unreasonable anger and having trouble keeping it in check after a traumatic incident, look into the possibility that you may have PTSD. This can be the case even if what you're getting angry about has seemingly nothing to do with the traumatic event. Number 5. Little Interest in Previously Enjoyable Things Another key sign of PTSD is the loss of interest in things you once enjoyed. For instance, maybe you used to be an avid basketball fan, but now you find that you don't even care whether your favorite sports team wins. This is because trauma can make you shut down to avoid reliving the pain from the trauma. While it may be helpful to not have to relive a trauma, your mind shutting down also means that you're prevented from enjoying things that you used to. Let's take a look back at the movie American Sniper. Hey Chris. Babe. As we saw earlier, Bradley Cooper's character has PTSD from his involvement in the Iraq War. In this scene, we see him after he's returned home to his family, who he hasn't seen in quite some time. However, while he was once a big family man, he now shows little interest in spending time with them. Instead of playing outside with his wife and kids, he sits inside, trapped by memories of war. This loss of interest in something previously enjoyable is a major symptom of his PTSD. Number 6. Substance Abuse Often those who have PTSD feel the need to turn to alcohol or drugs to cope with the traumatic event. This is a means of numbing to escape the feeling associated with the trauma. In the TV show Queen's Gambit, the main character Beth suffers from PTSD when her mother dies in a car crash when she's a young girl. Because of this, she begins using drugs at a young age. When she gets older and her adoptive mother dies too, Beth experiences even more trauma and dives even further into drugs and alcohol to numb herself. As you can see towards the end of this clip, Beth has flashbacks of her mother, the trauma of which is fueling her alcohol and drug binge. Like Beth, those with PTSD struggle with substances and often abuse them in an attempt to escape the pain caused by a trauma. While there are so many signs of PTSD, these are the most common ones. If you feel that you may have PTSD and it is affecting your life, we'd recommend seeing a professional in the field and learning how they can help you. Nobody should have to suffer from PTSD alone and without help. There are resources out there that can help you take your life back. Let us know in the comments what topic we're next. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.